Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, we have this amazing salmon lasagna. It's super easy to make and of course, it tastes absolutely delicious. Before we get started, if you're new here to my channel, welcome, please subscribe. And also if you enjoy the recipe, don't forget to leave a thumbs up for me and let's get started. Here's a quick look of all the ingredients. I will have the measurement down below for you guys in the description box, so please check that out. And we're going to get started. All right, to begin, I am going to start by boiling my lasagna noodles as usual. I like to add a little bit of chicken bouillon to my pasta just to give it some flavor. And also I am going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on there as well to make sure it's nice and salted. We're going to cover it and let it come to a boil. Once the water started to boil, I am going to place in my lasagna noodles. Just be careful so you don't break them. They can easily be broken, so try your best not to break them. Just place them in the water and let them get soft before you push them in. I'm going to cook my lasagna noodles for about seven minutes. Once that seven minutes is over, I am going to drain the hot water and pour some cold water to them. That way they don't get overcooked, okay? Just set them aside, moving on. I am going to mix all of my dry seasonings together. That way I can season my salmon. Now once I have all of my dry seasonings in one bowl, I am going to take a fork and give that a nice mix. Once everything is well combined, I am going to start seasoning my salmon. To season the salmon, you are going to add a little bit of olive oil on there. Just rub it in just like that. Then you are going to generously season the salmon with the seasoning you just mixed. All right, time to cook the salmon. I am going to add in about three tablespoons of oil to my skillet. Once that is nice and hot, I am going to place in the salmon skin up, okay? You want a nice crust on there. And this salmon is about one pound, so I am going to be cooking it about five minutes per side. All right, once my salmon is nice and cooked, I am going to remove it from the heat. We're going to place it into this plate. Then we are also going to be adding about half lemon juice on there. Keep in mind, this is a salmon lasagna. You gotta come through with that lemon juice, okay? So I'm going to sprinkle that on there just like so. And then you are going to take a fork and mash that salmon down, okay? Because this is salmon lasagna. You don't want to, you know, mash it too much. You want some, some bit of the salmon in there, of course. But 
just try your best. And this is what this is what we're working with so far. Moving on, we are going to make a nice little saucy sauce for our lasagna. So I'm going to add about two tablespoons in the same skillet that I was using. As you guys can see, I tried to discard some of the oil. It was too much oil on there. It was oily, okay? So now once that is nice and melted, you are going to add in some onions, okay? Now, if you don't want to add onions, it, it's, it's fine with me, but I just love me some oniony flavor. Once the onions are nice and translucent, I am going to add in the garlic. I am using minced garlic. I am going to cook that for about 30 seconds just to, you know, bring that garlicky flavor out. Once the garlic started to fragrance a little bit, you are going to add in your heavy cream. Now to season, I am going to add in a little bit of seasoned pepper and as well as some salt. And after you are done adding those, you're going to give that a stir. Make sure to taste it for if you need any more seasoning, you know. And at this point, basically, your sauce is, is basically done because it's nice and thick already. It's basically ready. So now we're going to mix our cheeses together. I am using ricotta cheese, yes, yes, yes. But if you don't eat ricotta cheese, I do have a recipe for you. I will leave it down below, a lasagna recipe I made, I believe a year ago with no ricotta cheese. So check that out. So I'm adding the ricotta cheese with some cream cheese as well as some Parmesan cheese and we're going to add some fresh parsley in there as well and just mix that up together. Come on now, I know it's a lot of step, but the outcome will be to die for. Stick with me, okay? So now we're getting ready to build our lasagna. Because of the baking dish that I'm using is too small, I had to cut some of my lasagna noodles. So we're here. Now I am going to place the cheese right on top of the noodles. And also I forgot, I forgot to add some of the sauce at the bottom of the pan before I placed the lasagna noodles on there. I'm so sorry guys, but I had to hit it with a little bit of olive oil. Hopefully it doesn't stick at the bottom. <laughs> so now we're going to add the cheese on top of the lasagna noodles. Now I'm going to add the fish right on top, just like so. Make sure you have a nice layer of that salmon on there so every bite of that lasagna can have a bit of the salmon. Now I'm going to add another layer of the noodles just like that. And I am going to add a layer of that cheese, okay. We're going to be doing our last layer is another layer of the lasagna noodles. Y'all get the hang of it now, I'm pretty sure. It's just, you know, just repeat the same process again. And once you are done, you are ready to add in your cheese sauce. Just pour that on top, just like that. Mm -mm -mm. I am loving this dish so, so much, y'all. Now at this point, 
we're at the final step of this recipe. I am going to top it off with some cheese. I'm using Colby Jack cheese as well as some yellow cheddar cheese. Of course, you can use whatever cheese that you do like, okay? I ain't your mama, I ain't gonna tell you what cheese to use. But of course, you can use whatever cheese you want. And we are going to bake this on 375, covered by the way. I did cover it just because I didn't wanna burn the cheese. And we're going to bake it for 25 minutes. 25 minutes on 375 and boom! This is what you have, the final result. I love that for me because it came out so perfect, so great, so delicious, so saucy, so cheesy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Please, 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 if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me. Let me know down below if you're going to try this out. In my opinion, I give this a big fat yay because it's absolutely delicious. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye.